Amy DeVille Horror is the first film in the Amy DeVille series. I did review the remake back in 2016 for Halloween month in my first year of a horror movie reviews on this channel. So I decided why not finish this off. And I did review Amy DeVille The Awakening last year. So we are going to talk about the original films plus some of the newer ones. And we're starting with the original 1979 classic and it is directed by Stuart Rosenberg based on the Amy DeVille Hard by Jay Anson and stars James Brolin and Margot Kidder and this movie is basically about a family and they are terrorized by supernatural forces when they move into a new house in New York State which was the scene of a recent mass killing in the home of 18th century satanists when swarms of flies appear from nowhere and the pipes walls begin to ooze with slime and blood they call on a local priest to exorcise the evil spirits, but also in the process, the father becomes possessed, and he starts acting possessive. This movie is great. This is a great film. It's not one of the best movies of all time, but it's definitely one of the best scary films that scare that does scare you i do like the i do like the remake but the original is a classic of course this was the highest grossing independent film one of the most highest grossing independent films of all time but the the scares are there but this is mainly a slow burn an hour and 58 minutes it goes by it goes by it's never a dull moment um i do enjoy seeing the the intensity of the possession in the house I do like how this movie is shot very well. The cinematography is really well done. I like the music here by Lalo Schrifen. Jo James Brolin, yes, the father of Josh Brolin, I think. Yeah, he is. He's great as the dad. He he's really great. He does a great performance. He does a great job of what he does. He's do given. Margot Kidder, may she rest in peace. She does great with what she's given. And I really think she's great in this movie too. I can't spoil this movie, of course, if you're one of those people who has yet to see it. But I'm not sure this is supposed to be based on true events or whatever. But you, you have to basically leave that up to your own interpretation. But, for the most part, you do have some good thrills, some good scary stuff in here. And, you have great acting, and you have some great performances here. So, then that, like I said, it is a slow burn, but it was the 70s, so I'm willing to give it a pass. And I will give... Amy DeVille Horror 1979. I highly recommend it. Let me know what you guys think about the Amy DeVille Horror down below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I will see you guys in the possession.